Hello, grandchildren. Uh, I just left my apartment for the first time in like a week. Aside from going to get groceries and stuff, I've been stuck in here for like a little under a month now, I think. Everything's fine, mostly. So like two months ago, a pandemic started. It's called the coronavirus and it's not like an end of the world thing. It's like, it's two or three times more contagious than the flu, which is pretty contagious. Um, and it kills about 10 times as many people as the flu, which is a lot of people. Essentially, the entire world is shut down right now. Uh, currently, I'm, I'm in Los Angeles and we're under like a stay at home order, which means that we're only allowed to leave our houses for essentials, which is what I did today. Also, right now, if you wanna go outside, you have to have something covering your face. And they're telling people not to buy medical grade masks because doctors need those and they're running out. So you just have to figure out something at home to put over your face when you go out in public. So this is what I look like. I look like a gang member for Hogwarts, I think. It's a little bit scary because a bunch of people at my work have uh, been furloughed and temporarily lost their jobs. I'm lucky and so far I haven't lost my job, but pretty much every movie production has shut down and I work at a visual effects company. So if they don't make movies, we don't have jobs. In a month or two, I might have to go looking for a new job. <laughs> also because of all this, uh, the stock market crashed and we might be entering a recession. And uh, I think my like last video or two videos ago, I don't know, like the last journal entry I did, I was talking about how I put a bunch of money into the stock market to invest for my movie. And I've lost about half of that. Which is kind of scary because that was like my movie budget uh, and I've lost like half of it, but it was also, it kind of doubled as like my emergency savings. You know, like if suddenly I lost my job and I needed to pay rent, I had a pile of money for that. And I had all of it in the stock market, which has crashed now, so. Now, now, hopefully, I don't lose my job and this isn't a problem at all. And I do want to say, I'm one of the lucky ones right now. All non-essential businesses in Los Angeles have been closed, which means there's tons of people who had jobs that they don't have jobs anymore. And they still have to pay rent, and that's horrifying. In the beginning, it was pretty freaky, because before we even went on lockdown, America just ran out of everything. Like, if you went to the store for the first time in my life, I just saw empty shelves. So there was about a week where I couldn't buy food and it was kind of scary. Fortunately, I have some stuff at home, but I was getting kind of low and I started getting kind of nervous about whether or not I would be able to buy any food in the future. The craziest thing about that is that we didn't run out of food. There was still plenty of food in like warehouses and uh, farms were still putting out meat and milk and all of that. And there were still factories making frozen food and everything. Uh, it, it was like a consumer problem where suddenly everyone got panicked that we would run out of food and they overbought and caused us to run out of food. Same thing happened with toilet paper. Uh, we just completely ran out of toilet paper because everyone started buying a ton of toilet paper thinking there wouldn't be any toilet paper. It's fine now. There's still no toilet paper for the most part, but there's food, so that's good. There's so many people who lost their jobs and don't know how they're gonna pay rent. Uh, and I'm really lucky. I'm doing fine right now. Really the biggest problem for me right now is that I, I'm alone. Right as this was all starting to happen, uh, the person that I live with, Hunter, he had to go because he had a family member that was ill back home. So he flew back home and I have been essentially alone in this apartment for about a month now. And I am, I really want to talk to somebody. Like not just on the phone. I want to talk to someone in person where I can see their face and they're actually look at their mouth while they're talking. You know, like right now, the only social interactions that I get to have are like on the phone or maybe video chatting with people, but it's not the same, you know? I, I bought a video game system for the first time in my life. I don't know how to play video games, but I needed something to do because I'm, I can't go anywhere on the weekends, but I still need to do something to like de-stress from work. So I bought an Xbox. I don't know how to use it. Yeah, that's it. It's, it's crazy. <laughs>
I think it's going to be extended another month now. That's what I've been hearing is that we have another month ahead of us. And I have no idea when my roommate's coming back. Uh, I could very well spend many, many months alone in this apartment, not talking to anyone. Not excited about that. <laughs> I'm losing my mind right now being completely alone uh, all of the time. But this is what the world is doing right now. Because if I stay in my apartment and don't go anywhere, I won't spread it. If I have it, I won't spread it to as many people. Uh, and they won't spread it to me. And we will con kind of contain it or slow it down so that we don't overwhelm our hospital systems. And kind of save lives, which is cool because by being like a hermit and not ever leaving the house, we're helping people. I just really wish that I had someone to like talk to or play video games with or something. Anyway, grandchildren, that's what has been happening for the past month and it's kind of crazy. Um, I'm gonna go, I'll talk to you guys next week. If you see me anytime in the near future, um, we should play a game called Pandemic. Uh, it's like a game where you're like simulating a pandemic taking over the world. I don't know if that's inappropriate right now, but let's do it. Anyway, grandchildren, I will talk to you guys later.